You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Did you hear what I said before you said that? No. You're, you're done. Your era is over. It's time for the new guys, you know, to take over now. Yes. What How do you mean? feel about that? No. You got to get me the fuck out of here. How do what we you, get you the you fuck out of here? Is over. I, I'm, I'm asking the question. No, you just said it. I'm asking the question. It's what I'm telling you. This is no, my interview. No, look. You just said it. <laughs> Yo. Yes. No, no. I, I would, I would, I want to believe he Did, was saying not, that. Not, not, I'm not saying. I'm I trying know the to. Way you were so, cause, see, he. But so what? He's saying it that you said it. You said it. I did say it. But you said it. People say. Now we My back bad. to people again. But people ahead. say your era is over. You know what I mean? It's the new guys are what's happening. The new styles and everything that's being brought into the culture now. That's what's happening now. That's what the new fans are looking what for. New styles? Cool. I ain't seen no originality Hey yet. man, you had niggas that steakums and you told them niggas if you told a nigga eating steakums his whole life it was filet mignon. As soon as a nigga get a piece of filet mignon, they go say, ew. That ain't no fil ew. We say that again. You give a nigga steakums his whole life and tell him and tell him this filet mignon, as soon as he get a piece of filet mignon, he gonna say, ew, that that's that steakums. Yeah. No, no, ew, that tastes like, that's no, steak -ums. They're used to the steak -ums. Yeah, yeah. Yes. they're used to I that being filet mignon. We just trying to culture niggas, right back to the culture, back to what it is. That's all. Uh, are we going to see a different move? You know, the people's yeah. always, there. everybody's saying, you know, did he, you know, learn from this? Did he, you know, did he figure this out? Like, I want to say learn, yeah, I adjusted. Adjusted, okay. I, I adjusted. Absolutely. It was that a? Did you want to adjust or did you say I have to adjust? Have to. You have to adjust. I have okay. to. I wanted to too. Okay. Because I'm a nigga that that. Uh, me and Rex had a fight about this. Well, we fight about this a lot, right? Rex be like, "Yo, Rex is just a, yo, say stupid as shit, right? <laughs> like, yo, nigga, what?" Hey, nigga, say stupid as shit, man. As bad as it sounds, say stupid. Say stupid as shit. Dumb, dumb, <laughs> not dumb down your language. That's that's what they would say. That's I've, I've heard that from people. Say you gotta dumb down shit. your shit, right? But make it more simplistic. So 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 now now right here's the way to do it. I had to figure out how to do that and and listen to what the people say too as well, the opinions that I take, figure out and still be me still. That shit take a while, bro. Right, right, right. It take a while to find that medium. And then I found it. And then I just found it. Well, not just. I found it after my mother told me you could go start battling again. I ain't write these raps, bro. God wrote these raps. God wrote these fucking rhymes, man. I'm telling you, I didn't write none of this shit. Don't credit me at all. Don't credit me at all for these. God wrote these, man. God wrote these. And I don't give a fuck. Nobody gonna say what God did. God wrote these, man. Did he write them with the intent knowing this is gonna be in a big building? Like, in a big room? <laughs> God wrote these though, and it's going to be in a big, what do you mean big building? About a well, building. you know what I mean, like a big crowd. Building? On I'm stage. Build. You think you can confine me to 2,500 people, man? It's going to be niggas watching this battle tomorrow that talk like this. How you talk? It's going to be niggas that talk like that watching me tomorrow. <laughs> niggas that talk like, well, because I'm fighting saying tight. <laughs> Those are niggas going to be watching me tomorrow. <laughs> Don't confine me to no building. All right? All right, I got it now. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Yo, my man, I'm trying to do this interview, bro. And you keep interrupting. I'm talking to my nephew. And I don't even know who you are. Because that's not the guy I know. This guy that just pulled up on me, he different. I don't know who he is. He different. Yo, you met my bad. My bad. I'm just, you know. Shout out to Rex for getting murdered over. 
putting that in, in my, that's why my team, anyway. <laughs> hey, look, man, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, uh, this is big for the culture. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think this is, uh, you know, some a legend, you know, versus the guy that's, you know, on the come up right now. I don't even know if he's on the come up right now. I think he might have passed he was retiring, that. Retiring, didn't he say? I, I don't know. I doubt what if he's going to retire. I don't know. But, Niggas retire every day. I ain't going to lose it. So, I, but I heard something like that, but that he was going to retire. That was shit. I mean, he got a fucking battle with every fucking body in the world. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga, that nigga recipe. He, he battled every nigga that's a. He battled every important motherfucker in he the He didn't culture. battle Rex. No. That's the only person he battled. Sorry, Rex. Yeah. He ain't gonna get a chance. Uh -huh. He ain't gonna get a chance to get to that one. Uh -huh. He's gonna have to go pick on somebody else. Uh -huh. That guy's, that guy, we gonna send him out tomorrow. We gonna send him out gracefully. Uh -huh. I promise you. Could, could, could I get one thing? From you and you, can, hey, my man, can you come over here for a minute? No. <laughs> What's up? We go 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go.